hard to follow Dr. Boy, so I shouldn't even waste your time, right? <laughs> Um, I'm a very visual person, and I like to show you a journey of how ASME has kind of prepared me and founding and really operating our company called Renewable. So I'd like to share with you some moments during my time. <laughs> so I was the kind of little girl who asked for those kits. You know, the ones with the battery and a gillion, a gillion tiny parts so you could build a little car that would actually run. Maybe that came from watching my grandfather, a USA Army engineer, take apart and put back together any kind of engine on any kind of machine. Whatever the mechanism, he could tackle a 500-page manual and make it work again. Even at a very young age, I was inspired by that. I knew that also, I also wanted to be a builder, a creator. And I was drawn to opportunities of excellence despite the bumpy road ahead. I traveled every day to a school 45 minutes from my house to pursue an international baccalaureate program Despite being somewhat intimidated by math, I received my bachelor, bachelor of Science from Virginia Tech in Business Information Systems, so not engineering, but IT. While at Virginia Tech, I also understood that I didn't want my career to be limited to IT, however. You see, I love technology, but programming specifically didn't always love me in the sense that I distinctly knew ones and zeros didn't give me the energy and inspiration to take risks. I wanted to contribute. I wanted to create, and my personal commitment to a healthy environment led me to an entrepreneurial effort that would help the earth and all of us. After college, I moved to New York City and was amazed by all the consumption and all of the waste, and I couldn't stop thinking about how many inputs the city required and how much wasteful output it generated. And ever since I saw this squirrel in Brooklyn, food availability also became personal to me especially during my time volunteering as a teacher in an underserved neighborhood in Harlem. I noticed how the lack of options for nutritious food within two blocks of where I taught had such a profound impact on the kids in my class. Later, as a volunteer for New York City Cares, I was exposed to the concept of community farms and rooftop gardens, and I got a lot of opportunities to get my hands dirty. Growing things, feeding people, and doing it responsibly became a passion. It was a soul calling. So when an opportunity to turn that passion into a social enterprise, I jumped at it. And we founded Renewable with one animating idea, such as the one you saw here, which is what ASME really helped us critically uh, refine during the iShow program. Essentially, we take a trademark process amongst one of our capabilities, and this we call organic cycling science. It's a technology to transform vegetative waste and crop residue into a platform of sustainable technologies, more notably for controlled environment agriculture, but also expanding into soil or field agriculture as we've been supported by USDA award of 4.6 million. Today, we produce a suite of biological inputs for soilless and growing mediums for all forms of agriculture. Our work can help increase the efficient, safe production of more produce. We are committed to making healthy food more affordable, but it was a long way to travel between our original vision and where we are today. And we couldn't have done it without the support of ASME. Three years ago, all of our company had was a working prototype of a revolutionary nutrient delivery system and not much else. And to be quite honest with you, we pivoted because COVID definitely introduced some challenges. <laughs> so we turned to the ASME Foundation. And in 2020, we applied to ASME's iShow. The rigorous review process challenged us to develop both our technical and business strategy. Their subject matter experts demanded a viable customer case and probed our plan for manufacturing. We had to explain how to scale the business and the feasibility of manufacturing outside of the US, including materials sourcing in, in um, global markets. Let me tell you, for first time entrepreneurs with big plans and so little experience, this feedback was priceless. After all this challenge and response, the iShow judges selected Renewable as the iShow winner and awarded us a seed grant to take our business to the next level, of which was 10,000 now. We've raised, raised more than 8 million today. Thank you. The seed capital was crucial at that stage of our development and gave us credibility, most importantly, with investors at later stages. 
Thanks in part to our experience at ISHO, Renewable was recently awarded, as I mentioned, a USDA grant of $4.6 million, and we continue to grow our impact throughout the US and wish to expand, not wish, but are planning to expand exporting internationally as well. ASME believed in us. They invested in us. And that's why I tell people they should invest in the ASME Foundation. Renewable envisions a world where resources aren't consumed and discarded, but recycled into fresh, nutrient-dense, local and sustainable food more efficiently than ever before, especially in a resource-scared environment. I feel blessed to be a part of a generation that recognizes the possibility to make the world better. Mine is a hopeful generation that believes we can make our planet safer, more um, clean, and more sustainable. The ASME Foundation uniquely bridges the great chasm between a promising new idea and it becoming an actual life-changing innovation in the marketplace. There just has to be more of this support. Let us not leave a better future on the drawing board. Thank you so much for your time today. Woo!